Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make window covers for car camping, car dwelling, van dwelling, van living, all of the above using the ever so popular Reflectix. What you will not see among my supplies is Velcro, suction cups, tape, and any of the other creative ways people have come up with to hold up their Reflectix. I have made a couple different sets in the past and what I have found to be the best way to trace out your Reflectix is to use parchment paper. I found parchment paper that is 15 inches wide and I used it to trace out my door windows and get a tight fit. And this is one of the pieces I was testing out some Plasti Dip. What you do not want to use is black spray paint. It chips and you will have flakes of spray paint everywhere. This is Plasti Dip. I was testing it out to see how well it stayed on and it's, it does come off. So I would not recommend using Plasti Dip. What I do recommend is using a black fabric, a black fabric that you can wipe off easily because you're going to get condensation in the cold months. You might get the window coverings sticking, freezing to your windows because of the condensation. So what I've got is I've got freezer paper and we're going to use this for the back window. It is 18 inches wide and hopefully wide enough that I can trace around the back window there. This is some paper from Home Depot that I was going to use, but you run into the same problem that you do if you're just holding your Reflectix up against the window and then tracing around it. It just doesn't work out very well. So there is this painter's tape to hold up the parchment slash freezer paper. And then this is the fabric I am using. It is from Joann's Fabric. It's like a PVC polyester fabric, $9.99 a yard. They do have vinyl, which is $20 a yard, very expensive. And I find this to be really good, easily clean. You can clean it, wipe it down, and it blacks out nicely. This is the glue I use. I have used the 3M glue, but I don't find that it works very well in extreme weather conditions and you might be a fair weather camper or car dweller slash liver but this works that the best in cold weather hot weather i've been in freezing below freezing temperatures the arizona desert heat and i find that this works the best loctite you'll want a sharpie to outline your parchment slash freezer paper and some scissors and I think that is everything that I have. Another thing, one of the reasons I am redoing some of my windows, particularly my back one, because it doesn't fit very, very well, is that I found, I found these quick snap screens. Now, I don't think these are no CM screens. And so the no CM bugs could probably get through these, but I'm going to try these out the this coming season and see how well they work so they they stick in your window and then what i'm going to do with my reflectix is i'm just going to kind of cut three sides out for a door that i can then open up to get some airflow so with that let's get started my microphone decided not to record while my gopro is charging so i'm going to do a voiceover this is where I am showing that my existing Reflectix doesn't fit very well on my back window, and I now have to take into account my rear camera. I will say that Reflectix is extremely durable. I don't worry about folding it up nicely, and I've even used the other side to set hot pans on, so it is very heavy duty. This is where I will be tracing the paper to then transfer it to the Reflectix. And these are the specks of spray paint left over from the first time I made Reflectix. After much trial and error, I decided to cut the paper in half and do half the window at a time, which ended up working out a lot better. I use the center line of the back window as my marker so that I can make sure and overlap each piece of paper 
with the other. And I wanted overlap around the whole window, which did leave some gaps in some of the areas. So all I did there in those gaps is I covered them with painter's tape, and then I was able to trace the outline of the window. Here is a look at that center line where I'm using to line both pieces of paper up. And this is the area where I had a gap and I just covered it over with the painter's tape. Same thing on the second half of the window. I overlapped this paper with the first one on that center line, marked it as well, and any gaps there were, I just covered those in with painter's tape. It was in the same area as the first one. Then I was able to easily trace the outline of this window. And the moment of truth. In some areas, it is a very snug fit, like this is up underneath, which is great. This is where I tend to have it fall down. It's snug around here. It's a little big in some areas, but I'm going to leave it. Because like this here, that's a little bit of a gap. And then I hear I can trim off the extra that I didn't initially cut off. I'm going to have to check my car camera and see how well that's showing through. But I would say that's a good fit. Let me open this up and see how well it stays up with just being paper. If that's staying up being just some freezer paper, it's going to stay up with Reflectix. Let me trace out the Reflectix, cut it out, fit it in, and then we will move on to the fabric. Okay, I cut out the piece for the camera and what I found is that it needed to be pretty wide. So that is what we're working with here. Why there are three flaps, but I'm only gonna have this car for probably about another year. So we are perfecting things. All right, I am going to trace the outline of the Reflectix. I'm not gonna cut the fabric out until I have sprayed it and glued it to the Reflectix. I just want to know where to spray. I do not overlap the edges at all because if you get fabric, good fabric, decent fabric, it does not fray. So I do not wrap my edges around the Reflectix. And I am rough with mine, so. Hey, you want to wait until that is tacky, meaning that it is, when you touch it, you don't, it doesn't stick to your finger. So we'll wait just a second and then lay it over the top. Thank you. 
beautiful. Now to cut the extra fabric off. One thing that I'm going to add to this is a little handle that will help me pull out the Reflectix because when you have such a tight fit, it's really in there. So I want to add a flap and I would have used this with duct tape, but I didn't bring any. So I'm going to use a piece of this and I'm going to put it in one of the corners so that I can just grab it and pull it out more easily. Okay, here's my piece of fabric. I'm going to pull this back a bit. And I'm going to stick it in there like that. So I'm going to glue this together. And then glue that. See how well that holds. Not the most beautiful job, but that's fine. And then we have this for the camera. Okay, are you recording audio? Are you recording audio? Okay, you are recording audio. Let's get this finito. And now, the final moment of truth. We know this fits, but now I have the fabric on it and the pull tab. Wow. That is snug as a bug in a rug. I am so pleased. The one that I have had, I had to shimmy it in just right to get it to stay. And this pull tab is gonna be very helpful. Hopefully that sticks okay. Duct tape might work just as well, but I would say that is a success. I will do my side windows and insert some clips of those with the quick snap screens and a little door, but that is my method for making Reflectix window coverings for vehicles. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I could get some kind of uh, something to keep that open. Velcro, Velcro maybe, just for the window, not to keep the reflectix up, but yes, here we have it. A little window to see out any creepers and to let some air in.